Hi, this is Lynette from Kits and Bits. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, some software that I love called Fences by Stardock. Uh, so uh, here's the website that we're on, so it's just uh, stardock.com. Um, and Fences is great if you are a desktop junkie. So <laughs> if you're not the kind of person that files everything in your... Um, in folders and accesses of things via the start menu and things like that and you love things on your desktop Fences is a really great piece of software and it costs about $10 US um, in 2016 uh, which is you know bugger all if you're trying to organize your computer so here I've got a relatively uh, neat clean uh, desktop but I might want to organize it a bit better uh, I've installed uh, Fences but I haven't actually set it up yet if I just want to create a new fence all I do is click and drag with my left button held down and let go and then it will create these two little options here so I'm just going to create a fence and you can see here it's got enter title so that's all easy so I might put image and video editing okay because I have a few different things that I use for that so Snagit can go in here I can just click and drag shortcuts from my desktop into that fence okay and then to move it I wait till I've got the double edged arrows and I can click and drag that over I can resize the fence so if I want a long skinny one that's just one shortcut high I can do that um, so and I can then just create another one so I'm gonna call this one music and videos Okay, so I'm going to drag my iTunes in, um, I might set up a shortcut to my video folder um, on here and then I can resize it and it should snap to the same size as the other one. A bit harder to see on this, I'll just drag this one down so you can see that outline a bit better. Um, and I can drag that across and it will size the same. Why? And you can set it up as much as you want. I'm now going to customize. And I can change the transparency so it's almost completely black. You can create a folder portal so rather than just having a shortcut to a folder um, which is then another click away you can actually create essentially a, a hot link um, that will actually import a shortcut to all of the files in a particular folder so that they're all sitting on your desktop. When it comes to creating a folder portal uh, I'm going to do the same thing as I did uh, to create the fence so I'm just going to click and drag with my left button down and it'll give me the little option. This time I'm going to choose create folder portal here Okay, and then what I can do is actually go into my file explorer and go to a folder where I know preferably something that doesn't have huge amounts of documents in it. I'm going to choose my downloads folder here and then I'm going to select that. Okay, so now what that's done is it's actually created a folder. Now these are direct links to the files within that. So, you know, if you're someone like me who you get um, downloads all the time and then you forget to go and actually get them out of there and file them this is a really great way to keep an eye on what's in there so that you can manage it you know so maybe you're downloading stuff that you only need for a particular day um, and then you want to delete it um, it'll show up in here okay so I can um, I can access it if I open it from here and I edit it and then I save it it will actually save that that file in the same folder but it will create it directly on your desktop so it's a really really great way of keeping your desktop really really clean but keeping your file versions um, clean as well and the last thing I wanted to show you was quick hide so if you're doing a presentation or videoing your screen like I am um, you might want to clean it up so all I need to do is double click anywhere on the desktop and everything will disappear. Um, this is just a, a message reminding me that that's gone but I don't need to worry. Um, I'm going to choose don't show this message again and OK and you can see here beautiful and clean and then all I have to do is double click to bring it back. So that is uh, one of my favorite pieces of software fences. I use it on every computer. I install it straight away um, and it just keeps everything really nice and clean. Uh, it does take a little while to set up in the beginning but um, it's much nicer to use than having random shortcuts all over your desktop. 
So uh, that's uh, this piece of software. I'm going to be taking you through lots of other pieces of software that I like as well. Uh, so subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and keep an eye out on kitsandbits.com.au. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. So you can actually do it um, through this customize fences option. So I can double click on here. And it will bring up the configuration menu. So I'm just going to maximize that so we can see all sorts of things. So uh, I'm going to show you how to create and rename fences and stuff actually on the desktop. Um, but you can choose colors for your fences. So you can actually, you know, choose the background colour, how deep it goes, whether you want it just really pale um, or really dark. Your quick hide is really useful, so particularly for people like me who are recording their desktop all the time, you can actually make it nice and clean uh, quickly just by double clicking. Also great if you often use your computer for doing presentations, you can have a nice clean desktop and then just have the PowerPoint or file open that you're using uh, so that people don't have to see you know, what kind of files you've got on your desktop. Uh, so you can do that.
um, but when you update them they're all saved and they're not a completely different file um, so I know for a lot of people who like really messy desktops that might be really useful and desktop page is a bit like a mobile phone you can actually create more than uh, one page um, and then for sorting and organizing you can set up all sorts of rules um, I keep mine pretty simple but just saying that showing you that there's lots of different options um, and layout and snapping and things like that you can actually change your size and it will move your, your folders around and stuff like that but let's have a look at some basics